It was five years ago when the Conservatives took majority control of Monmouthshire. Now they're promising to tackle bread and butter issues, such as fixing streetlights, pavements and putting potholes right as part of their latest local election campaign. But are these the issues voters here in Monmouthshire want to prioritise? Plan of infrastructure for parking, so people can park easier there, um, for more tourism for buses to come into town, help to support the shops, local businesses, and stop them from closing down, really, because they're not getting the customers into the shops. I'm thinking more of the economy and the, the way people are struggling with household bills at the moment, but also the health system. You know, the health system is, is creaking after COVID particularly, so we need more money pushed into certainly health and the economy generally to help people with things like food banks and so on. Potholes, the Roy Bridge is atrocious, it's like a, a third world country road. Uh, parking in the town isn't great anymore because of, there's no room and taking your kids to school or school times is just chaos, absolute chaos. Whatever the issues are, can voters here separate local party promises with the much bigger political stories across the UK? Boris Johnson's handling of the cost of living crisis, the war in Ukraine and the continuing developments over Westminster parties held during Covid restrictions could be crucial as we step closer to May the 5th. Kate Watts runs a cafe in Monmouth. She's noticed her high street change over many years and wants to see consistency from the council. Thanks, bye. I think there's lots of things that have been happening that, you know, could change your mind, but for me personally, no. Um, I think it's about consistency, making sure we've got the same leader um, at this time. I don't think we should be changing uh, drastically. Obviously, things like Ukraine, um, uh, cost of living is, is really important. It's been um, really, really difficult over the past five years, so any government that was in power really would have had a difficult time. Um, and I think it's been handled as best as it, as it really could. Um, who knows, you know, if it would have been different with somebody else in power. So um, for me, yeah, I'm quite happy with how, how it's been handled. Across Mono Bridge, others are looking for a change from a Tory majority. Oh, if they got back in in Monmouth, uh, I think that would be a real retrograde step. It would be just more of the same, of the same, of the same. Not any positive aspects to them really. As they look to build on the gains they made five years ago, the Welsh Conservatives are well aware that many voters will be basing their decision on wider issues, including lockdown parties in Downing Street and the cost of living crisis. We'll get a better idea of how true that is at the polls tomorrow. Bradley Harris, GB News, Monmouthshire.